Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching All The Beer No Idea, I'm Baz. Uh, yeah, we're back with another one and we're going traditional this time. And it's another one of the beers that I picked up from Budley Brewery. And we have a bottle of their old school bitter, coming in at 3.8%, 500ml bottle. Uh, purchased this in a mixed box of 12. So individually the bottles come in at £2.10 each, I believe. So not expensive. Uh, I do like the little label actually, being called old school bitter to have a picture of an old school on there, I do like that. Uh, on the bottle it says, a full body traditional flavor, uh, full body traditional flavor with hoppy finish. I think they've got that wrong on the back there, a bit of a, the English on there. Uh, but anyway, brewed with, or brewed using Marisotta and Crystal Malts, uh, Worcestershire Goldings and Fuggles Hops. Uh, this was the first beer that they actually brewed back in 2008. Uh, it was very well received, so they carried on doing it. So without further ado, let's get this out, get it into an old school bitter glass and see what we get. So I have got uh, a couple more reviews coming up later on. One from The Blade and we've got another a, a bottled lager from Spain, so they'll be up later, so keep an eye out for them. There was a little bit bit left in the glass, but I'll leave a gap there. Give that a tap, because I'm not very well cleaned, I must say. So, beer in a glass. A uh, little bit of carbonation going up, quite a spacious finger of white head on top. It's sort of amber in colour. I would have expected it to be a little bit darker, but doesn't have to be darker does it so uh yeah i mean it looks bitter like but like i said i would have expected a bit more i won't put the rest in yet we'll try and give it a swirl and uh, see what we get on the nose hoppy slight sweet maltiness to it maybe an inkling of caramel you're getting that typical sort of like hedgerow fruit thing going on in there yeah, it smells old school bitter really. It smells, it's doing exactly what it says on the bottle. I'm certain there's another beer out at the moment that says it does that. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's dive in, see what we get, cheers. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, if you like your old school stuff, lovely, lovely beer. Not particularly heavy in body, very smooth, very soft. It's got a little breadiness to it. Carbonation's very gentle. You're getting that lovely sweet maltiness, a little bit of breadiness in there too. You're getting that sort of hedgerow fruit kind of thing. From the hops, you're getting a lovely hop taste to it. And there's almost, you're getting that bitterness in there, don't get me wrong. But it's almost a sweet bitterness, if that makes any sense. Uh, a cracking little beer, it's got to be said. 3.8%, yeah. You could, I mean, you could say in there it's maybe a little bit watery, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, there's an, if there is any wateriness there, there's enough in this beer to carry it through. Very drinkable, three point eight percent. Yeah, it's 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 not drinking particularly sort of heavy or boozy. Nice and easy, nice and sessionable, very downable as well. So yeah, Budley Brewery's old school bitter coming in at three point eight percent gets a big thumbs up from me uh, if you like them traditional you'll like this one so uh, if you see it go and give it a go if you've had it before let me know what you think feel free to comment subscribe to the channel if you want to if you don't want to don't bother but it is free just remember that and uh, that's it for this beer review so uh, i'll leave you all to it and i'll see you again on another one cheers 